Pensacola Christian College welcomes you to the Collegian Basketball Championship. Want to get a head start? Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to The Nest, the home of the Pensacola Christian College Eagles. We are seven and a half minutes away from Collegian Championship Basketball between the Wolverines on the American side and the Hornets on the National League side. As I said, game will begin in seven minutes and 20 seconds. We'll turn it over to our PA Logan Toothman for the pregame introductions. giving us the ability to come and watch sports, Lord, just to play as collegians and as uh, fellow classmates, Lord. I just pray uh, that you help uh, both teams to have the right attitudes, help us as we're watching to have the right attitudes as well, uh, and just enjoy the time that we are here, Lord. Thank you again uh, for you, for this opportunity, and it's in your name we pray. Amen. Remain standing as the national anthem is led by Micah Flanders. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave for the land of the free and the And now it's time to introduce the team's starting lineups. 
Let's introduce the starters for the Beta Kappa Delta Hornets. Number 10, a senior guard from California, Danny Echeverria. Number 13, a freshman forward from Alabama, David DeAnda. Number 14, a freshman guard from Alabama, Danny DeAnda. Number 15, a sophomore forward from Indiana, Sam DeAnda. And number 21, a junior center from Ohio, Jack Bork. Now introducing your starters for the Pi Zeta Delta Wolverines. Number 11, a sophomore guard from Michigan, Devin Burick. Number 15, a senior forward from New Jersey, Jack Miller. Number 22, a sophomore forward from Indiana, Austin Dablo. Number 24, a sophomore forward from Ohio, Hunter Hanna. And number 25, a freshman guard from Florida, Danny McLaughlin. Tonight's officials are Matt Place, Tim Mowry, and Solomon Banks. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Logan Toothman, for those pregame ceremonies and starting lineups. Jack Bork and Jack Miller for the jump. Hornets win the tip. Wolverines are in the green. Hornets are in the white. By my side again for this championship game, Brittany Paddock. Brittany, what are you looking for in this game? Potentially a little bit different than the girls' game we just watched a little while ago. Definitely going to be a little bit different, but I think we need to keep an eye on the speed of the Hornets and their ability to shoot the ball, whereas the Wolverines play a lot more physical game. And some bigger guys, they may try to slow the pace down a little bit. Um, even though they can shoot, they're going to want to capitalize on every possession that they have. Definitely in for a treat with this game. Uh, the Wolverines have actually not won a championship before for basketball in their college in history, whereas the, the Hornets, their last championship that they won was 2010, and that stands as their only men's basketball championship. And it looks like a player from the Wolverines stepped out of bounds right there. Just their foot barely touched the line, and the ball will be the Hornets. Like I mentioned in the girls' game, though, I think some of those same things that we dealt with on the girls' side, side we'll see with the guys and the fact that they're dealing with stop time. They're also dealing with a longer court. We'll see how substitutions work, whether they're able to give their starters a break. Um, so they're more effective in the long game. Offensive rebound there for the Hornets. The follow by Sam Deneda is no good. Wolverines push the ball up the floor. Hornets coming out in a little bit of a different look of a 1-3-1 defense. Don't see that too often in collegiate ball. It's a little bit more difficult of a defense to run and coach, but the Hornets early on seem to be doing very well. Dablo shot there, blocked by Jack Bork. Deneda puts the transition shot up. It's no good. Devin Burdick pushes the pace for the Wolverines. Austin, stay high. Austin, high. Austin, high. There you go. Move it. Move the ball. 
Wolverines moving the ball around. Dablo's floater is no good. Gotta get back, gotta get back. Off the foot of Danny Deonda. Wolverines will take possession. Something we were talking about just during the starting lineups. We have three Deondas in the starting lineup for the Hornets. David, Danny, and Sam. So we will try to differentiate them by their first names as the Wolverines look to move the ball. Hunter goes inside, easy two for Austin Dablo. Something I was gonna touch on at the end of that possession, the Wolverines not putting anybody inside, trying to play all perimeter against a 1-3-1 and that doesn't normally work against zones. You gotta go inside, go a little inside out or even just kick inside and then go to an easy drop step. Ideally, if the Wolverines can set up in a 2-1-2 offense, that's what's going to work best. You have your two people open, open in the corner, and it forces that bottom person on a 1-3-1 to make a choice on who they're going on which side they're going to lean to in guarding. Good ball movement there from the Wolverines again. Jack Miller's shot is up and no good. Danny Echeverria pushes for the Hornets. Swings the ball to Danny. Floater is up and no good. Hannes comes down with the rebound. He finds Jack Miller. Great pass there from Hannes to the backdoor cut from Jack Miller. Danny Echevarria with a strong take there straight into the chest of Hunter Hannes, the much bigger defender. Danny goes right into him. Wolverines once again moving the ball around the perimeter. Go to him, go to him. Dribbling is never going to beat his zone. Danny McLaughlin quickly realized that, had to swing the ball. Burdick tried to get downhill. But David Dianeta stepped right in front of him. Gets the blocking foul, his first foul of the game. You know, Braden, you mentioned you thought this would be a much faster paced game than the girls, and we're already five and almost five and a half minutes into this game. Both teams have put up quite a few shots. It seems like it's really gonna come down to who can finish. Both teams getting to the basket early. Was expecting a lot more three-point shots just based on watching these teams play over their collegiate season. But both teams trying to go inside early. Wolverines with a good take there. Couldn't get the shot to fall. Wolverines still looking a little confused by this 1-3-1. Not sure where to put the ball. Danny McLaughlin takes a contested three no good. Bork comes down with the rebound. Good job, Jack. Jumps to make a pass, but the ball is tipped and a traveling is called. Wolverines will take possession. Good job by Jack Miller right there just to add a little bit of pressure to the Hornets Devin and uh, yeah. ending Devin up looks. forcing oh, that turnover. Oh. There you go. There you go. There you go. Wolverines moving the ball around the outside. Yeah, look, yeah, look. Hornets defense doing a good job. I know. Hornets defense Hunter. doing a good job of staying in contain mode. In the They're not overextending themselves. Wide They're not shooting gaps. As Danny DeAnda there steps up, gets a blocking foul. But the Hornets, like I said, doing a good job containing the Wolverines, not overextending hey, themselves, hey, hey. overrunning their closes, forcing the Wolverines to shoot. And their shots are not falling right now. Bort comes down with another rebound for him. As Danny pushes, pushes the ball, puts some dribble moves on, gets to an offhand finish, doesn't go. Bork with the offensive rebound. And the foul will be called on the Wolverines, Austin Davo. Substitution for both teams. Hornets, number 11, Andrew Echeverria. And for the Wolverines, number 10, Colton Nepshield. Come into the game. 
Wolverines in a more basic 2-3 zone. Wolverines penetrating it with dribble drive. Crazy shot at the rim, doesn't go. Hunter Hannes with the ball, brings it up the floor. Austin Dablo trying to use his size, gets to a fadeaway jumper, it's no good. In transition. Hornets almost lose the ball, but great hustle there from David Dionda, who gets back, throws it off the knee of Colton Nepshield, and the Hornets will keep possession. Bork to inbound on the baseline. Danny Dienda trying to put the moves on. Loses it. Ball inside to Bork. Back out to Deanda. Shot is up. No good. Jack Miller comes down with a rebound. Hunter Hannes again bringing the ball up the floor. Wolverines look for a skip. Nepshield once again with another skip. McLaughlin steps out of bounds before he can do anything. Almost seven minutes into the game. Four to seven is our score. Both teams struggling a little bit offensively to get into their flow and get the shots that they're looking for. Both teams have been cold here for the last three minutes, not scoring. The Wolverines have been doing a good job defensively, making it difficult for the Hornets to release the ball once they're actually in the air. You'll see them actually kind of step up and make the shot a little more difficult, and it's resulted in some layups. Well, quite a few way layups that the Hornets have missed. And then the Hornets on the defensive end have been a doing a fantastic job putting pressure and wearing out the Wolverines offensively. I think they need to continue that in order to play the long game. Good pass from Deonda. Dumps it down to Jack Bort for the easy two. Goes strong. Hornets back up to a three-point lead, nine to six is the score. Danny McLaughlin gets going downhill. Smart defensive play by Jack Bork to step up and take that charge. With McLaughlin coming downhill a little out of control, Bork makes a smart play there to step up, take a good charge. Nine to six is our score, 12-14 left in the first half. Wolverines call a timeout, we'll be back shortly. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Just over 12 minutes left here in the first half of action in our Collegiate Championship men's game. Wolverines in the green, Hornets in the white. Deonda puts up a shot, misses everything. Wolverines will take the ball out. Devin Burke will bring the ball up the floor. Hornets still doing a good job in their 1-3-1, being smart, not overextending themselves. Good ball fake from Grant Baker. Gets the defender off balance and knocks down the easy two. That was the substitution during the timeout. Number 21, Grant Baker coming into the game for the, Horn, or, uh, for, for the Wolverines, excuse me. Both teams still playing pretty slow, maybe just trying to feel out their opponent's defensive scheme. 
three-point shot for Deonda is no good. Danny McLaughlin comes down with a rebound. Finds Hunter Hannas. Hunter thought about the three-pointer. Decided not to use the opening. McLaughlin swings the ball to Burrick. Burrick puts up a shot. Baker with the offensive rebound. Good tip there from Danny Dionda in transition. Finds his brother, David Dionda. Lackadaisical pass there, almost gets taken away. Hunter Hanna, step back three, in and out. Fight for the rebound. Grant Baker comes up with it for the Wolverines. Off the leg of Jack Bork, the Wolverines will keep possession. Substitution for both teams for the Hornets. Number 10, Danny Echeverria coming in, coming back into the game. And number 22 for the Wolverines, Austin Dablo comes back in. Hunter Hanna's taking the ball out of bounds. Finds Burke on a cut. Baker on the wing. Wolverines moving the ball, still trying to feel out this 1-3-1. Burke swings it to Baker. Burke wide open for three. Shot is up, no good. Andrew Echevarria comes down with the rebound, pushes in transition. Some fancy dribble moves, gets to a left-hand finish, can't get it to fall. Dayblo comes down with the rebound. Wolverines move the ball, good Euro step from Burrett, gets to an easy two. Great play there by the shifty point guard. Wolverines now only leading by one point. Bork at the free throw line. Finds Echeverria on the outside. Echeverria finds his brother Danny. Danny tries to go to a spin move, gets called for the travel. Wolverines take possession. Another substitution for the Hornets. Number 24, Josh Torres, comes into the game for the first time. Wolverines get inside McLaughlin. Shot is blocked by Bork, but he comes down with his own rebound. Little miscommunication there between McLaughlin and Dayblo. Dayblo throws the ball out of bounds. Hornets will take possession. You notice though that the Wolverines, they're starting to, to move the ball a little more inside the paint. And the minute that they do that, it opens up shooting opportunities on the outside. Andrew Echeverria from distance. Shot is no good. Grant Baker comes down with the rebound. Burrick with the ball on the wing. One thing I've noticed, any ball fake from the Wolverines, the Hornets are jumping at, trying to either get the steal or get the block. Need to see some ball fakes as Burrick puts up the three-pointer and rims in and out. David Dionda, step back. Decides not to shoot it. Bort gets in the lane, finds Torres. Puts up the floater, no good. Hannah's with the rebound. Both teams' shots are either just short or in and out. Can't quite get their shots to fall. Hunter Hannah's with a deep three. Nothing but net, knocks it down. His first points of the night. It's a long three for Hunter Hannah's. If he can find a way to start knocking down those shots, Hornets are going to have to overextend a little bit. Will then open up some passing and driving lanes for his teammates. You actually just read my mind there. <laughs> Echeverria step back. Skims the front of the net. Baker comes down with yet another rebound. Burrick pushes in transition. Another Euro step. Can't get the shot to fall. Torres with the rebound. Danny Echeverria pushes. Finds himself in the lane untouched. Goes right into the chest of Hannah's. Can't get the shot to fall. Wolverines bringing the ball up the floor. Hey, 
Baker wide open for three. Shot is up and no good, but he was fouled on the three-point attempt. Grant Baker will go to the free throw line for three shots. And two Hornets players will check into the game. Number 14, Danny Deanda. And number 22, Charlie Vaughn. First free throw for Baker is up and good. Hornets have gone cold here in the last four minutes, not scoring a bucket. Wolverines, although not happening quickly, got to the tie and have now taken a four-point lead. And Baker goes two of three from the free throw line, giving the Wolverines a 15-11 lead with seven minutes left here in the first half of action of this Collegian Championship game. Yonda finds Torres, swings it to Echeverria, gets in the paint, great dump off pass to Torres. Danny Echeverria with the assist to Josh Torres for her, his first bucket of the game. Hunter Hannes knocked one down from right there just a moment ago. Nothing but net again. Hornets are gonna have to step out and respect Hunter Hannes' shot or it's gonna be a long night for that Hornet defense. It happens once, you know that's an issue. It happens twice, now you better be on him immediately every single time he gets to that point. Bork puts up the shot, didn't get it to fall, but was fouled by Wolverines number 24, Hunter Hannes. It's his first. Bork at the free throw line. His first one is up and good. Bork's second free throw is up and no good. A fight for the offensive rebound. Torres comes down with it and throws it off the leg of Grant Baker. We'll, or, uh, Hornets will keep possession. Great hustle there from Josh Torres to go up through the contact, grab that rebound, knowing that he couldn't come down with true possession, made the smart play and threw it off the leg of Baker. Echeverria looks inside to Torres. Torres' mid-range jumper is no good. Bork goes up for the offensive rebound, grabs it, gets the easy putback too. Wolverines playing a little bit lax right now. Just seems like everybody on the floor is playing really calm. Danny McLaughlin with a shot attempt gets swatted away by Josh Torres. Good patience on that block there, not jumping too early on the initial Euro step, but was patient and got all ball on that block attempt. You know, we talked about the, you mentioned the Wolverines seem to be taking their time. They almost seem to be taking a little too much time though. I'd like to see them move the ball a little faster, especially around the perimeter of the arc. Danny Great. McLaughlin with a transition layup there. Spin move off of Danny Echeverria. Extends the Wolverine lead back to four. Echeverria puts a shot up, it's no good. Danny McLaughlin comes out in transition. Dumps it off to his teammate, Devin Burrick. Strong take through, contact gets the and one. Not just a strong take in contact, but be able to put that shot up over somebody who has a few inches on him in height, that, that is very difficult. Substitution for the Hornets, number 15, Sam Deonda comes back into the game as Devin Burke is at the free throw line to convert his old fashioned three point play. Free throw is up and good. He now has five points. Wolverines push their lead back to seven. Deonda tries to find Torres. Wolverines tipped it out. Hornets will keep possession. Substitution for the Wolverines, number 15, Jack Miller comes back into the game for Grant Baker. Echeverria in the corner. Drives middle, gets into the paint, tries to go strong through contact. Jack Miller reached in and hit him on the arm on the shot attempt. And that foul will go against Jack Miller, his first, 
sending Danny Echeverria to the free throw line for two. Danny's first free throw up and no good. Second free throw is up and no good. Hannah comes down with the rebound. Hannah, excuse me. Hunter walks ball up the floor, finds Danny McLaughlin. Long three-pointer off the back iron and no good. Austin Dablo with the offensive rebound. Head fake, can't get the follow. Jack Bork pushes in transition. Jack Miller trails from behind. Sam, at Sam Deonda finds Josh Torres in transition. To Bork, back to Torres. Deflected out of bounds. Hornets with a transition turnover there. Wolverines will take possession. Some really good recovery defense by the Wolverines on that end. Uh, they got beat several times, but they didn't let that stop them. Came in, were able to make a, a good stop on the Hornets, keep them from scoring. Wolverines still being patient, feeling out this 1-3-1 one, one zone. McLaughlin with the ball in the corner. Finds Hannes. He's hit two from that exact spot. Third one leaves it just short. Danny Dionda finds Sam Dionda. Can't get the. Tried to put it up. Got deflected by Jack Miller. Hornets will keep possession. Substitution for the Hornets. Number 13, David Dionda comes back into the game for Josh Torres. Hornets with the ball out of bounds. Jack Bork throws it away. Devin Burke with the steal. Goes out in transition. Tries to do the fancy finish. Can't get it to fall. Danny McLaughlin follows. Gets the easy two to follow. We talked about it during the girls game. That's why you always follow when a teammate pushes in transition. You never know when you're going to have an easy follow up two. Shot is up and no good. Bork comes down with the offensive rebound. Held ball called. Good hands by Hunter Hanna to get in there before the shot attempt from Bork. Wolverines will take possession. Substitution for both teams. Hornets number 11. Andrew Echeverria comes back into the game. And for the Wolverines number 10, Colton Nepshield comes back into the game. Wolverines walking the ball up. 1-3-1 one, one of the Hornets has extended a little bit. Reaching up to the half court mark. Austin Dablo gets downhill. Good skip pass, finds Dablo in the corner, tries to drive baseline off the foot of the Hornet defender. Wolverines will keep possession. Burrick finds Miller, back to Burrick. Nepshield, wing three off the front iron and no good. Hits the bars above the backboard. Out of bounds, Hornets will take possession. I know Nepshield didn't make that shot, but that's the quicker ball movement that needs to happen for them to get the open shots. Danny Dionda puts up the three-pointer from the corner. Nothing but net. Puts down the three-pointer. Brings the Wolverines back within six with two and a half left here in this first half of championship basketball. Wolverines doing a lot of skip passes here. Nepshield finds Hunt, Hunter Hanna on the backside. Hanna goes up strong. Hanna with the and one, strong take. Good head fake, Jack Fort goes flying for the block attempt. Finishes through the contact. Gets the two. Such, such patience by Hannah on the post with that move, not only with the head fake, but that little turn into the other side before he did a drop step to get the and one. His and one free throw is up and good. Another substitution for the Wolverines. Number 20, Grant Bruce comes into the game for Hunter Hannah. Danny Dionda with the ball, top of the key, finds Andrew Echeverria, he tries to get downhill. Good take by Austin Dablo, steps up 
Anticipates the dribble drive from Echeverria. Takes it right in the chest. Good charge take there from Austin Dablo. Wolverines take possession. Nine point lead with two minutes left here in the first half. Hornets have switched to a man defense. Wolverines giving a different offensive look here. A little more one-on-one. -on -one. Dayblow with a fadeaway jumper is no good. Danny Dionda comes down with the rebound. Keeps his bounce. Andrew Echeverria gets downhill. Kicks out to David Dionda. His three-pointer is up and no good. Jack Miller comes down with the rebound. Dablo on the wing, finds Grant Bruce on the block. Looks to go up through the contact off the side of the backboard, no good. Danny Dionda comes down with the rebound. Foul called against number 20, Grant Bruce, his first. Wolverine still holding on to a nine point lead over the Hornets with just over a minute left in this first half. Echeverria tries to put the dribble moves on Nepshield. Nepshield stays planted. Tries to get through the finish. Grant Bruce tries to get the block attempt. Foul is called. Echeverria headed to the free throw line for two. Grant Bruce picks up his second foul after only being in the game for a minute and a half. Has two quick fouls here. I mean, the entire game, the Hornets have been playing that that quick drive and attempt to make the layup game. So the minute that Echeverria called for that screen, the Wolverines should have been aware and played a little more of the help defense. Echeverria at the line, second free throws up off the front of the rim. Nepshield comes down with the easy rebound. Wolverines, as we talked about during the girls game, there is no shot clock here in collegiate basketball. Looks like the Wolverines are content to let 50 seconds run off the clock and get one shot attempt. Burke tries to get downhill, finds Bruce. He's quickly triple teamed as they reach in, get him on the arm. That foul on number 13, David Dionda. It's his third foul. Grant Bruce to the free throw line with 23 seconds left. Can push this Wolverine lead to double digits if he can knock down one of his bonus free throws. First shot is up and good. Pushes the Wolverine lead to 10. Banks home the second free throw. Goes two for two from the line. Hornets now down 11 with 20 seconds left to go. It's not the second half where you have to rush for a shot, but if you are the Hornets, you do want to get a quality look here. Want to go into halftime with a freshly made basket under your belt. David Dionda finds Sam Dionda. Doesn't knock down the shot. David Dionda with the steal off of Jack Miller gets the easy two to end the half. Hornets cut it to a nine point deficit. 30 21 is the score. 10 minutes of halftime. We'll be back shortly. Want to get a head start in college? With Pensacola Christian College's online dual enrollment program, you can do just that. Open to juniors and seniors in Christian schools and Aveca Academy homeschoolers, dual enrollment students can take up to six online courses per year, all counting towards PCC college credit requirements. With three different options throughout the school year and summer and over 20 courses, 
choose to lighten your college load. And depending on your major, finish college early. You will be able to fit courses around your schedule, a perfect way to complete many of your general college education courses before you graduate high school and step foot on campus. To learn more about getting a head start on your education today, visit pcci.edu slash dual enrollment. It's a passion that unites us. The heartbeat of everything we do. Since 1974, we've been building, reaching, expanding our limits. And yet today, one thing hasn't changed. Pensacola Christian College empowers leaders to influence the world for Christ. Choosing a college is so much more than deciding where you're going to live for the next few years. It's choosing a culture, group of people, and academic standard that will shape you into the person you want to become. It's an exciting time, and when you visit campus, it gets even more exciting. It's your moment to get a feel for the atmosphere and community. Catch a game, sit in on classes, visit chapel, make new friends, and so much more. And now you can experience college life your way with multiple visit options. No matter when you come, you'll find a vibrant community influencing the world for Christ. You won't just blend in, you'll belong. So don't wait. See how you can experience PCC today.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the second half of Collegian Championship Basketball. Wolverines with a nine-point lead to start. Right out of the gate, Deonda with a three-pointer, no good. As a reminder, Wolverines are in the dark green jerseys and the Hornets are in the white. Hornets come out in the second half in a man defense. Danny McLaughlin tries to get downhill. Wolverines look to move the ball. Hunter Hanna resets it up top. Good ball movement here from the Wolverines. Dablo tries to spin, gets caught up in the double team and travels. Hornets will take possession. Good defense by Sam Deanna to put a stop, move in front of the player without using their hands. You notice he kept his arms straight up. Great strong take there from Danny Deanda. Gets his fifth points of the night. As McLaughlin pushes in transition, tries to get the easy two. Danny Echeverria pulls down the rebound. Jack Bork looks to get inside. Shot is blocked by Hunter Hanna. Austin Dayblow tipped the ball as it went out of bounds. Hornets will keep possession. Bork will take the ball out of bounds, finds Echeverria. Goes up, another block for Hunter Hanna. Jack Miller loses the ball. Easy pickup for Hunter Hanna. Little mid-range floater knocks it down. Hunter Hanna leads all scorers with 11. Grabs his first two of the second half. Danny Echeverria comes down with a floater of his own. Little back and forth action early here in the second half. Both teams struggled offensively to knock their shots down. They did get the looks they wanted. Maybe that halftime break gave these teams the time they needed and the time to get some shots up. Start knocking down shots. So we have a foul against the Hornets, number 13, David Deonda. That's his fourth foul with 18-12 remaining in the second half. He heads towards the bench. And a substitution comes in Andrew Echeverria. So I think that'll be the last we see of Danny Deonda for quite a while. Burrick saves the ball from going out of bounds. Wolverines look to get downhill. Uh, Austin Dablo keeps it in the same hand, can't get the finish. Echeverria pushes in transition. Strong take, goes up strong. Echeverria with another easy two. He's got four. They cut this Hornet deficit to five. Oh, 
on the entry pass. Danny Echeverria flips underneath of Jack Miller. Gets his first foul of the game called against him. Wolverines reset it at the top. I like the physicality by Danny Echeverria as he was guarding his opponent right there. Just sometimes you got to be careful when that ball is actually tossed up in the air. You can very easily be called for a foul. Well, it's hard to guard someone who's, you know, five to six inches taller than you and a little bit stronger than you. It's hard to guard them, so you try and give them a little extra push, but once they get in the air, it gets a little dangerous clipping somebody as Danny McLaughlin gets the easy two, gets his sixth point of the game. Wolverines back up to a seven-point lead. Hornets move the ball around the perimeter. Good. Hands up. Hands up. Andrew Echeverria puts the dribble moves on. Entry pass to Jack Bort. Bort tries to find Danny. McLaughlin, two behind the back dribbles. Finds Dablo coming downhill. Finds Hunter Hanna. Hunter with a head fake step back. No good. Gets his own offensive rebound. Finds Burke in the corner. His shot no good. Off of Deonda. Wolverines will take possession. McLaughlin contested mid-range jumper knocks it down. Good move by McLaughlin. He's been struggling to hit some of those long-range shots tonight, but managed to step up and hit one when his team needed it. Danny Echeverria gets inside. Hunter Hanna with another block. But Echeverria comes back with it. Andrew Echeverria goes up. Can't get it to fall. Jack Miller with the offensive rebound. Long pass from Austin Dablo, I believe. Goes long and out of bounds. Hornets will take possession. I think a little bit of miscommunication there as far as where he was crossing over. Sometimes those happen, that happens, especially with those long passes. It's hard to judge where your teammate is going. Danny Dionda brings the ball up the floor for the Hornets. Torres with a mid-range jumper, misses everything, but Danny Echeverria sneaks in there, grabs the offensive rebound, and gets the easy putback. Give him six on the night. As the Hornets are hanging around that seven-point deficit. Wolverines look to extend. Danny may only have six points, but he's going to be a key player if the Hornets want to come back and uh, get ahead in this ball game. He has the ability to drive. He's a great defender, and you have to guard him on the perimeter as well because he can shoot. I've seen him pull up from four or five feet behind the arc and drain him. Wolverines can't get much going against this man defense of the Hornets. Very good on-ball defensive team. Wolverines once again have to reset up top. McLaughlin gets to his spot. Mid-range jumper at the free throw line is good. McLaughlin now has 10 points. I believe he has six of the Wolverines' last eight as Danny Echeverria puts up a three-pointer, misses everything. Hunter Hanna comes down with the ball. Defensive foul on Danny Echeverria. Once again, off ball that we saw a few minutes ago. Trying to be physical with the bigger, bigger player he's trying to guard. As Danny comes out, his brother Andrew subs in for him. Wolverines take the ball out of bounds on the sideline. McLaughlin having six of the last eight for the Wolverines. Tries to make something happen, gets inside the lane. Stumbles, finds himself with his foot on the line. Out of bounds, Wolverines lose possession as the Hornets take it the other way. That's tough. You lose the ball and you manage to go in and grab it and recover it, only to have your foot on the baseline. Danny DeAnda, his three-pointer up off the front of the rim. Deflected out of bounds by the Hornets, or by the Wolverines. Hornets take possession. 
another substitution for the Wolverines. Number 21, Grant Baker, comes back in the game. Jack Miller heads to the bench. 14.06 left on the clock. Wolverines with a nine point lead. Danny DeAnda gets inside, can't get the shot to fall. Baker comes down with the rebound. Hunter Hanna brings it across the timeline. Wolverines spread out. Danny McLaughlin, three pointer off the left side of the rim. Hornets bring down the rebound. Torres gets the ball in the high post, finds a way to find Danny Dienda. That misses everything. Hunter Hanna comes down with the rebound. Austin Dayblow brings the ball up the floor. Swings it to Burrick. Burrick trying to find a gap. Thought he found one. Then Andrew Echeverria quickly shut it down. But tries to get the steal. Gets the block called against him. That is Echeverria's third. Sends Devin Burrick to the free throw line for two. Burrick with five points on the night. Looks to extend the Wolverine lead to double digits. First free throw is up, bounces around, and falls out. You know, I mentioned the Hornets are one of those smaller, faster teams, and the Wolverines have a little bit more size. And even though they can be quick, they move, they move the ball around a little more and try to get it inside. I think the size difference is what's playing a big key right now in those fouls down on the other end. It's hard to guard somebody who's taller and bigger than you. Once again on this side of the floor, Devin Burke trying to get in the lane. Tries to finish through the contact, can't get it to fall, but draws the foul against Andrew Echeverria. That's his fourth foul. That's the second Hornet with four fouls. Andrew subs out. His brother Danny comes back in for him. Also subbing in for the Hornets, number 13, David Dienda, comes in for Josh Torres. Dienda, one of the players with four fouls. The wise play for the Wolverines is find whoever he's guarding and go right at him, force him to play on-ball defense, see if you can't foul him out with just under 13 minutes left here in the second half. Burke's free throw up and good. He now has eight, going two for two from the line there. Echeverria gets inside, finds Sam Dienda. Shot is no good. Bork with the offensive rebound in the putback. The Hornets have been struggling to hit from behind the arc this game, but don't count them out. All it takes is them making one or two shots, and they'll get on a roll, and the Wolverines cannot let that happen. Wolverine swinging the ball around the outside. Burrick cuts to the basket. Great cut from him. Good pass from Austin Dayblow. Burrick grabs another two points. He's now got 10. As the Wolverines extend their lead to 12. Hornets work the ball around the outside. David Dionda, his shot is up and no good. Devin Burrick tries to get to an offhand finish, can't get the ball to go down. Dionda pushes in transition, tries a step through move. Shot is up and no good. Foul on the Hornets, or excuse me, Wolverines, number 22, Austin Dayblow. That's his second. Sending David Dionda to the free throw line for two. Trying to cut this Wolverine lead down to 10. Timely foul right there. Uh, we had mentioned that, you know, the back and forth, this length of court, the no stoppage time could uh, be a little difficult for the teams because they aren't used to it. And you could see it. The back and forth a few times was making them tired, and so all of them were ready for a needed break. Grant Baker with a strong take with the left hand. Finishes in transition. That's his fourth point of the night during that last free throw. We had a substitution for the Hornets. Number 22, Charlie Bond, comes into the game. As we have a reach-in foul against the Wolverines. Number 24, 
Hunter Hanna, his second. That will send Danny Echeverria to the free throw line for two shots. Echeverria's first free throw is up and good. Two subs coming in for the Wolverines. Number 15, Jack Miller subbing back into the game. And number 14, Reed Rhodes coming into the game for the first time. Echeverria's second free throw is up. Bounces in and out. Miller comes down to the board. Wolverines looking to move the ball quickly. Baker finds Rhodes. Rhodes looks for the kick out. Danny Dionda grabs the steal. Out in transition, tries to get the Euro finish, doesn't get the shot to fall. Miller comes down to the board, finds McLaughlin. McLaughlin in transition, almost loses it, gets to a spin move. Good, strong finish through contact off the spin move for Danny McLaughlin. He's now got 12. He leads all scorers as the Wolverines extend their lead to 14. Hornets look for a bucket. Danny Echeverria gets downhill in the paint. Good strong take and finish from Danny. He's now got eight. You just talked about a minute ago, Brittany. You can see the fatigue setting in on the players. A lot of transition was going on early in the first half, and here you can see both teams starting to walk the ball up the floor a little more often. The length of the floor and time of play, I think, playing a key factor here in the second half. Reed Rhodes gets downhill there. Charlie Bond tries to step in and take a charge just a little bit late on the charge attempt. Reed Rhodes will go to the free throw line for two. Charlie asking for a little bit of an explanation there. The official telling him he was just a tad late getting there. Rhodes at the free throw line. His first shot is up and good. Before the second free throw attempt, Wolverines will call a timeout. 48-35 is our score. We'll be back shortly after this timeout break. Coming out of the timeout, Reed Rhodes back to the free throw line for his second. He made the first. See if he can go two for two here from the line. And push this Wolverine lead to 13. Shot is up and no good. Misses everything. Wolverine lead remains 13. 48-35 is our score. 10 minutes and 12 seconds left on the clock. Danny Echeverria letting the ball roll. Tries to explode with speed, gets through everybody, puts up a shot, no good. Grant Baker comes down to the rebound, but Echeverria rips it away from him. Good skip pass, tipped by Miller. Beyonda resets. Sam Beyonda looking inside for Bork, finds him. 
Bork drags his pivot foot. Easy travel call there for the official as the Wolverines will take possession. Something we've talked about a little bit. David Diondo playing with four fouls at the moment. Spin move there from Rhodes. Shot can't fall. Bort comes down to the rebound. Teams diving on the floor. Hannah goes up for the shot attempt. But he was fouled on the follow. That foul on Hornets number 15, Sam Dionda. That's his first foul of the game. Sending Hunter Hanna to the free throw line for two. I like the hustle by Jack Miller on that play to go over and contest the Hornets. Um, just punch the ball away enough to where Hanna could grab it and get to the line. First one was no good off the front of the rim. Second one no good off the back of the rim. Hunter Hanna finds himself open, finds Reed Rhodes. Reed gives a little head fake. Bort goes flying once again. Lands on top of him. You mentioned in the first half the Hornets seem to be going for a lot of those ball fakes every single time. The Wolverines will ball fake. They jump in the, up in the air or try to go for the steal, and you see the same thing happening again. While I like the aggressive defense, you still have to play smart because otherwise you're going to get burned exactly like what just happened. Couple substitutions for both teams. For the Wolverines, number 20, Grant Bruce comes back into the game. And for the Hornets, number 24, Josh Torres. And number 22, or er, excuse me, number 11, Andrew Echeverria comes into the game. Reed Rhodes at the line for his one and one bonus free throws. First one is up and good. Extends the Wolverine lead to 14. Went one of two last time. Looking to go two for two here. Second free throw is up off the back of the iron. Grant Bruce comes down with the offensive rebound. Rhodes with a tough finish. Up and under. Great move there from Reed Rhodes. He misses his second free throw, but he finds a way to grab another two points for himself. Held ball there between two players. Wolverines have the possession arrow. Rhodes looking for an opening. Gets downhill once again. Same up and under move, misses short. Andrew Echeverria finds a way down the court, finds his brother Danny. Danny, switch hands, midair. Good finish from Danny Echeverria going around the defender, finishing with his off hand. That is his 10th point of the night. Rhodes looking to set up the offense for the Wolverines. Swinging the ball. Rhodes going baseline, tries to find a kick out corner, but no one was there. Falls out of bounds, Hornets take possession. Wolverines still holding on to a 14 point lead with just over eight minutes remaining here in the second half. Yonda finds Echeverria at the high post. Echeverria head fake, gets Bruce flying by. Easy two for Danny Echeverria, he's got 12. You talked about a minute ago, Brittany, how Danny was struggling to score, but he was doing everything else, and I think he's found his scoring groove here. Definitely has six points in a matter of minutes. Burrick gets to a mid-range pull-up, can't get the shot to go. Tussle for the rebound, Hornets come down with it. A three-pointer here could turn this double-digit de deficit into a single. But David Dionda doesn't need three points. He gets downhill. Good finish through contact. Cuts the Wolverine lead down to 10. There's still seven and a half minutes left in this game. That's a lot of time, especially when you're working with a stop clock instead of a running clock. The Wolverines got to put some points on the board if they want to maintain their lead and win their first championship. Torres rejects Bruce's shot. Great outlet pass to Dionda. Dionda with a strong finish and one. 
Devin Burke went down hard there. He's still on the floor. Burke is able to get up and off the floor under his own power, which is always good to see. Anybody gets hurt, goes to the floor. Love to see him being able to get up on their own and get off the floor. After the N1, substitutions for the Wolverines. Number 10, Colton Nepshield. Number 24, Hunter Hanna. And number 22, Austin Dablo come back into the game for the Wolverines. You know, I talked about how Danny Echeverria has played such a key role with the Hornets and controlling the tempo. You can see his leadership come through at the end, at the end of this game. At the same time, Hannah for the Wolverines has been doing the same thing all game, hitting key shots, playing well defensively, but really controlling the momentum of his team, especially on the offensive end. Wolverines looking to set up the offense. Grant Baker gets downhill, finger roll, finish at the rim. Strong take there from Baker. He's got six. Wolverines get their lead back to nine, but the Euro step by David Dionda cuts it back to seven. The Wolverines need to get a couple good stops on the Hornets um, and need to put up some buckets. Otherwise, I'd be looking to call a timeout. If I'm the Wolverines coaches, just slow everything down. David Dionda with another steal. Another two points in transition. David Dionda went from having no points with seven minutes left on the clock to now just over six. He's got seven points. He's getting downhill, getting to his spots. Dablo finds Hannah for a kick out. Off the front iron, no good. Sam Dionda finds David. David pushes in transition. Can't get the shot to fall off the front of the rim. Smart play there from Hunter Hanna to get that outlet. Slow the pace. Wolverines call a timeout as their 14 point lead has been cut down to six with 5.45 left in this second half of championship basketball. We'll be back after this timeout. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Wolverines still holding on to a six-point lead. Hunter Hanna gets downhill, can't get the finish, but he gets his own offensive rebound, puts it back up. Pushes the lead back to seven. Timely points right there from Hanna. Yep, something you were just talking about a few minutes ago. He may not be scoring more than anybody else, but he's scoring when it matters. Dionda finds Torres at the free throw line. Torres, mid-range jumper, knocks it down. Normally, mid-range jumpers are hard to knock down, but that's something Torres has done twice now tonight. Nepshield gets the ball at the high post, kicks it back out. McLaughlin looking for an opening. Wolverines doing a good job right now of just slowing everything down. Before that timeout, they were almost getting into a speed game with the Hornets, and if that's what they're going to try to do, 
the Hornets are going to beat them every time. They have to slow the ball down and use up as much of the clock as possible and then score every possession. Nepshield finds McLaughlin on the cut. That's no good. Hornets come down with a rebound. Deonda finds Echeverria in the corner. Echeverria, an array of dribble moves, gets to a finger roll finish. Cuts the deficit to three. Back to a one possession game for the Hornets. Great take there from Andrew Echeverria. McLaughlin tries to get downhill. Finds Nepshield on the easy roll, easy two. Good backside movement there from Colton Nepshield. He's now got four. Great find there from Danny McLaughlin. Lead is pushed back to five. Even though the Hornets are down with less than four minutes left, they're still doing a good job of remaining calm, not forcing any crazy shots, kind of what you were talking about the Wolverines the same way, being smart in offense, finding open shots. David Dionda puts up a three-pointer and he knocks it down. He's now got 10. I mentioned this a few minutes ago. While the Hornets were not hitting from deep most of this game, I knew they could hit deep. And so you still have to contest every single shot that they put up from behind the arc. Colton Nepshield goes up, tries to finish. Can't get it, leaves it short-sided. Danny Dionda comes down with a rebound. And a foul is called against the Wolverines. That foul on number 22, Austin Dayblo. That's his third foul. I'm actually okay with this foul. Like we had talked about earlier, sometimes fouls are timely, just kind of stop the momentum from forming. And especially after that three and a potential fast break, I, I'm okay with the foul. Let's slow the pace down and make them uh, work through our defense to score. Number 21, Jack Bork subs back in for the Hornets. Hornets down two with a three-pointer. Could reclaim the lead, but Echeverria gets downhill, can't get the shot to fall. Dayblow finds McLaughlin on the outlet. McLaughlin, smart play, slows it down. We've talked about it multiple times during this game and the girls' game. There is no shot clock in collegiate basketball. McLaughlin looks to get downhill, can't get there. Turns it over. Sam Dionda comes away with the steal. David Dionda pushes in transition. He's been their go-to in the second half. Step through move, can't get the finish. Hunter Hanna comes down with the rebound. Once again, a very timely rebound by Hanna, pulling it down when it matters. Yep, being smart here, walking it up the floor, knowing that there's no shot clock, not gonna stall for two minutes, but not overly anxious to put up a bad shot. The Wolverines have gone a few possessions now without points. Uh, they're, it's a two-point margin right now. They need to get some points on the board. Great find, Hunter Hanna with the assist. Good backdoor cut from Jack Miller. Finishes with the left hand with the and one. Unfortunately for the Wolverine or the Hornets, their leading score in the second half, second half, David Dionda just fouled out. He's had 10 points just in the last six minutes of play. That's a huge hurt for the Hornets, him having to go to the bench with his fifth foul. Jack Miller at the free throw line for the old-fashioned three-point lead, trying to three-point play, trying to push the Wolverine lead back to five. Free throw is up and no good. Smart play there from Echeverria instead of trying to save a ball that wasn't off his team. Let the ball bounce out of bounds off the Wolverines. Hornets down four, a minute 40 left on the clock. They find Danny. Shot is blocked by Miller. Andrew Echeverria comes down with the offensive rebound. Three from the corner. Shot is up. Front iron. No good. Austin Dablo comes down with the rebound. The call coming from the Wolverine sideline saying, be smart, hold the ball. Being smart here in the last minute, getting, getting to a spot that they know they can finish, not forcing a bad shot. Obviously looking to not turn the ball over with a minute 10 left. They find McLaughlin on the block. Kicks it out to Hannah. Danny McLaughlin wide open, wing three. Shot is up and good. Danny McLaughlin knocks down the three. He's now got 15 points. 
That shot extends the Wolverine lead back to seven, 62-55 with 55 seconds remaining. Timeout by the Hornets. We'll be back shortly. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. 55 seconds remaining. Wolverines in the dark green, Hornets in the white. Wolverines with a seven point lead. Hornets gotta figure something out here in the last seconds of play. They find Deonda in the corner, shot is up and no good. Sam Deonda comes down with the rebound. Finds Echeverria, Echeverria with a 30 footer. Off the back iron and no good. I think I heard a faint whistle, but I'm not sure if the players heard it. I think Austin Dablo on that rebound stepped on the line. Hornets take the ball out of bounds with 34 seconds left. You don't want to force anything, but you also have to play. Knowing you're down, you got to knock shots down. Deonda in the corner, can't get the look. Bork crashes to the basket, gets the easy two. Let's go. Long pass thrown away. Echeverria comes down with it. Stop and pop, top of the key, off the front iron, no good. Echeverria gets the rebound, kick out. Sam Bionda, no good. Miller comes down to the board. Miller finds Dayblow. Dayblow finds McLaughlin. Four seconds remaining. And the Wolverines are your 2023 Collegian Basketball Champions. 62-57 is our final score. We appreciate everyone for sticking around and watching this game, watching this close finish. We'll turn it over to PA Logan Toothman as he closes out today's championship ceremonies. Thank you again for joining us. At this time, we have the trophy presentation at center court. Our Collegian Sports Coordinator, Mr. Jacob Gentry, will present the Men's Collegian Basketball Championship Trophy. Thanks for attending this year's Men's Basketball Championship. Congrats, Hornets, Wolverines.